here today, gone tomorrow. Why? <laughs> Miss Pauletta, what's wrong? Did the Spanx factory burn down? Oh, my Krisha just called me. She saw it on someone's Tweety account. Twitter account. Whatever. <laughs> I can't believe Alvin is dead. My father is fine. <laughs> You're right. He's in a better place. <laughs> if he's even up there. He's not dead. Oh, you, you know you're just in denial, William. I understand. It was like that when I heard the Sister Sledge broke up. Sister Sledge broke up? Pauletta, it's just an internet rumor. Mm -mm, no, the internet does not lie. Son, where do they keep the plungers around here? They have a death con for a situation in the Lincoln bathroom. What's wrong with you? You see, Pauletta, my father is alive. Of course he's alive. Oh, you so ugly that if they buried you, the ground would just spit you back out. Oh, you heard that story that I'm dead, didn't you? You got all upset. No, I didn't. Well, why are you crying? Because it's not true. I'm so happy you're still alive, Grandpa. <laughs> me too. Yeah, it was all over the news today. Three girls consoled me. Actually, it worked out pretty good for the first son. What did they say I died from? Something heroic, I hope. And it doesn't say. Well, read me what it says. Elvin Johnson, the father of the president, died today. Go on, go on. Well, that's all it says. That's all? One <laughs> sentence? Lassie got more than that. Sorry, Grandpa. That's all they wrote. Hey, everybody. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry you had to go through all this dealing with all those sympathy phone calls. Oh, not too many. How many of my grief-stricken friends called? Just one. Otis. Otis. Uh, I bet he was really broken up. You know, Otis and I used to have some great times at the racetrack. You know we like brothers. Well, your brother said you owe him 200 bucks. And since you were dead, I have to pay it. You should have told him you were dead, too. <laughs> when are they going to stop with all these false rumors? First it was my father, and now this with Catherine? The press is always printing rumors about the White House. I remember when President Nixon was besieged by the Watergate hoax. Watergate? That was real. That wasn't the way he told it. Sir, if this story was a grenade, I would throw my body over it. That won't be necessary. Now, we are going to get to the bottom of this outrageous lie because they've gone too far this time. Hi, honey. You oh. needed me? Yes, sweetheart. I am so glad. You didn't get your hair done yet. I just got it done. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. There was a crazy rumor going around that says you spend, wait for it, $500 to get your hair done. That's outrageous. They must think I'm a fool. Not true at all, the nerve. Exactly. I know the woman I married. I only spend $400. <laughs> You spent $400 at a beauty shop? Not a shop, a salon. <laughs> Catherine, middle America doesn't spend that much money on their hair. Not true. Rebecca, you're from Wisconsin. How much do you spend? Uh, practically nothing. I do it myself. The key is dishwashing liquid. <laughs> you see? And it looks beautiful. Ah! <sighs> upset about being dead? I hope you realize it's not true. It's that not true part that's got me down. What got you down is gravity. Your father's not upset about being dead. He's upset because they summed up his whole life in one sentence. One teeny tiny little sentence. They didn't even mention me. Baby, it's not about you now. Never is. <laughs> You know what? I think it was a blessing in disguise. Now I can go out and do something. Something people can remember. Something that give me a whole paragraph. Then I can die happy. I can write that paragraph right now. We'll all be happy. Your 
the Trinidad Moraga Scorpion Pepper, sir, and per your request, no water, no milk. Thank you, Bernard. And when I break this world's record, they're gonna have something to write about when I go to that big racetrack in the sky. You know, of course, the Trinidad Moraga Scorpion Pepper is the hottest pepper in the world. Oh, I don't care. I put hot sauce on everything. You put hot sauce on your hot sauce. <laughs> now, the world's record only eight peppers, right? Yes, just think of it as popcorn. <laughs> Let's do this. That's one. Mm -hmm. mm. Get the next one ready there. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Hold the phone one, one second. <laughs> Look, something's going on here. Mm. I can mm. see. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> You didn't need water. $25, but I thought, oh, that's just crazy. <laughs> I like my hair washed in hot water, and that costs. How did I pay $400? Huh? Mm -hmm. But it's worth every penny. Oh, oh, have you lost your mind? Oh, William, and now you trying to make me feel guilty about wanting to look good. For $400, I can look good and buy a car. And I have to take a gas. Uh, maybe not that gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's how much a good stylist costs. You know what, sis, you need to get back into the real world. I remember, remember, we used to go into a club, sing, make 20 bucks, thought we hit the lotto. <laughs> yeah, we did squeeze that 20 bucks so hard it would cry. Come on, let my girl do your hair. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, I know what that would be like. See, she'll be working on five or six people at one time, and then I'll get out of there at three in the morning, and she'll be expecting a ride home. No way. So what, uh, you too good for that now? Miss Big Shot, First Lady? <laughs> okay, make an appointment. Oh, yay! <laughs> you know, be just like old times, getting our hair done together. <laughs> yeah, that will be fun. <laughs> uh, ooh, shoot, for $400, you could get the whole family's hair done and still have enough left over to get rid of my mustache. <laughs> you still got a mustache? Don't tell nobody. I want a dog, and I want a remote control car. It's not about you. I'm trying to set the world's record. First black Santa to hold a bowling ball in one hand and a plate of spaghetti in the other, while a grandbaby on each knee. I'm sorry, sir. Someone already did that. Oh, darn it. All right, what about do all this now while singing Joy to the World? Joy to uh, Done. What about Hubba Nagila? Done. Me and Mrs. Jones? Done. All right, then I'm done. Here, here's your Christmas gift. Here, come on. Come on, my man. Get up. Get, 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 get. <sighs> Welcome to Keisha's Cuts and Curls, where hair comes to relax. I'm going to take real good care of you, your first ladyship. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me Kathy. Okay, Kat. Pauletta, I'm gonna get Kathy ready and give me about five minutes. I'll be ready for you. Now that'll keep you five minutes. Yes. Oh, good, good. Then I can go pick up some shoes. I can get me some lunch. I can go to the movies and get my car fixed. I should be ready for you by then. But no promises. <laughs> what is, man? You are in good hands. Okay, mm. I'll see you later. <laughs> so, Katrina, mm. what you think? Uh, well, um, I don't want a big change. You know, I, I just want something that um, lets the American people know that I'm with them. Does that make any sense? Oh, I got you, boo. Oh. Come on, Miss Kathy. I've got a special VIP room set up in the back just for you. Oh. Y'all right. get out. Hurry up, get a real VIP up here. <laughs> what you upset about? It's your fourth wedding. 
Come on. I got you, Miss Cat. <laughs> I'm never getting famous. The soup begins to smell like old fruitcake. Well, my friend's little sister got an award. Now she's famous in our class. Did she eat a spider like my friend Daniel? No. She went the whole day without wetting her pants. I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> you guys laughing. Your granddad is in pain. Oh, sorry. It's just this guy's dance video. Yeah, he already has over 200 million hits. 200 million hits? But that must hurt. No, Grandpa, it just means that that's how many people have viewed his video. Yeah, check it out. 200 million people watched that? Yeah, now he's a big star. Hold up. All I have to do is come up with a dance that sweeps the nation? How hard could that be? I create dance. You know me. Watch it. It's called the sideway. <laughs> a lot of people mistake it for the bird, but it's not a bird. Keisha! Keisha, I'm back! Oh, I think I have to say, I done did it this time. <laughs> The first lady looks so good, I'm gonna get my own reality show. <laughs> you wanna go half on a baby? I'm good. K Keisha, uh, did Catherine love it? Oh, she hasn't seen it yet. Mm -mm, oh, no, no. There are no mirrors in the VIP room. See, I'm an artist, and I don't like my clients seeing my masterpieces until I've mastered them. Okay, child? I mastered this one. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. All right. KJ, get ready. Introducing the new and improved First Lady of the United States. It looks good. Oh, wow, it certainly looks... Like a national treasure. It definitely screams America, man. That's exactly what I wanted. Hey, lady, have you seen your hair? Yep, that's right. That's the Statue of Liberty, girl, on your head. <laughs> Lady, you need to get your money back. You look like a unicorn. What did you do? Help the sister out. You're welcome. This is the best part. You're going to love this. <clears throat> Well, you can't say I didn't notice your hair this time. It's certainly patriotic. I think you look pretty, Mommy. Yeah, it's like Disneyland's on your head. You know, when Jackie Kennedy cut her hair, everyone copied it. I'm highly confident that won't be happening here. No one takes pictures or tells anyone about this. Sorry, I already tweeted. Uh, uh, okay, kids, for your own safety, I'm just going to have to ask you to leave, okay? Here we go. There we are. Careful. Okay. It's changing colors. It's actually quite amazing. It has motors, gears. That makes sense. Before Keisha did hair, she worked at Jiffy Lube. But why don't you call your guy, ask him to fix it? I can't. Since I cheated on him with Keisha, he refuses to touch my hair. Well, this is D.C. Someone will be able to take care of this. I'm not leaving this house. There are people out there, people with cameras, people with eyes, people with memories. Uh, Catherine, I I'll do your hair. I feel responsible. You better get away from me. You are responsible. Pauletta, do you know how to do hair? I can do hair. I've seen Beauty Shop nine times. Now, come on, Catherine. Now, you know I can do some hair. I don't know. You really have any other choice? Let me think about it. <laughs> Is that music coming from my hair? Oh. Okay, fine. Let's go, kids. This is serious business. This is gonna be my legacy. 
the recording, unfortunately. <laughs> my name is Elvin. I wear both ties. I'm gonna make a mark before I die. Do the Elvin. Deal, deal, do the Elvin. Deal, deal. Blood pressure up. Blood pressure down. Blood pressure up. All the rock I do the Elvin. Deal, deal. Dad, what are you doing? Making my mark, son. I'm gonna put this on the internet and get hit by a whole lot of people. Kids, can you give us a moment, please? Dad, you can't possibly think this is a good idea. <sighs> Maybe not, son. Because I'm almost out of breath already. Listen, you ever seen a movie called It's a Wonderful Life? Oh, yeah. Richard Roundtree was brilliant. <laughs> that shaft. This is with Jimmy Stewart. It's about an angel showing him what the world would be like if he never existed. Now, Dad, if you weren't born, Mom would be very lonely, I wouldn't be here, and neither would your wonderful grandchildren. Would Pauletta be here? Yes. Oh, what a horrible life. <laughs> you have a wonderful life, and your family is your legacy, and you should be very proud of that. That's beautiful, son. And you're right. I'm to think of it. Our family's doing great. Exactly, and you have a lot to do with that. Huh? Uh, <laughs> can you call me Shaft? Uh, how about I call you Dad? That sounds good, son. What about Superfly? Uh, Action Jackson. Johnny Ray. How is she? Too soon to tell. It's touch and go there for a while. Did you get to save her hair? I gotta be honest with you. I couldn't save it all. It isn't easy removing a Statue of Liberty from someone's head. I did what I could. Kids, when your mother comes out, we all have to be very supportive, no matter what. I'm not good at lying. I am. Watch this. Charles. You're really smart. Thank you. Hello? Where is everyone? Uh, uh, we're in here. Oh, okay now, she's coming now. Remember, be supportive. <laughs> wow. You look beautiful, Mommy. Aww. Yeah, Mommy. You look like the most beautiful mommy in the world. And I'm not lying. Thank you, baby. <laughs> well, I owe it all to Pauletta. You got skills, sis. <laughs> Thank you, sis. <laughs> and you know what? I guess I was a little too out of touch. Spending $400 to get my hair done was way too much. But, sis, I can always count on you to tell me the truth. <laughs> I try. <laughs> now, you should just let me be your stylist. You know, we can start with the hair, and then, you know, we can go on down here and Stop. do the rest of it. Well, come on now. Nice job, Pauletta. <laughs> yeah, my hair is kind of cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, that'd be $350. $350? Yeah. And I'll throw in the eyebrows for free. <laughs> You're not coming anywhere near my eyebrows. <laughs> Blood pressure up, blood pressure down. Blood pressure up, blood pressure down. Blood pressure go. Say what? Yeah. Oh, come on, let's do it. Keep on, say. Blood, blood pressure up, blood pressure down. Blood pressure going all around. Do the hell. Oh! President's got some moves too. I see. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. <laughs>